Hey, Mr. Aaron here. We gotta go over one more uh, ideal gas law problem here. This one's probably the most challenging one, so we're gonna enjoy this. Here he has 200 milliliters of a sample of oxygen at 790 torr and 20 degrees Celsius. So V1 here is 200 milliliters. We have 790 torr which is P1 and we're gonna have a T1 of 20 degree Celsius 293 Kelvin he has a 300 milliliter sample at 600 torr and 80 degrees Celsius so we're gonna have a V2 here of 300 milliliters a P2 of 600 tor Celsius. Temperature is going to be 353 Kelvin. If he transfers both gases into a third container, which the volume is 1.75 liters, hey, guess what? We have a third container here. So there's a V3 of 1.75 liters. And it's maintained at a temperature of 20 Celsius. T3 is going to be 298 Kelvin. What will be the total pressure in the new container in Tor? So we're looking for P3 in Tor. Okay, so here's how I'm going to do this problem here. Here I'm going to use an R of 62.4 because I have Tor. Here I'm going to use an R of 62.4 because I have Tor. And here I'm going to use an R of 62.4. Okay? Each one of these problems I'm going to find the moles. Now this moles and this moles is going to be added together here because these are do not react. And that's gonna give me the third moles over here. And then I can find the pressure. So here's what you're going to see me do. You're gonna see me do PV equals NRT. Then you're gonna see me do PV equals NRT. I'm going to add these two moles together and then I'm going to do PV <laughs> equals NRT. Okay? Since we're doing PV equals NRT here, we have to change our 200 milliliters. 1 times 10 to the third milliliters, 1 liter, and we get 0 0.200 liters, correct? So we're not going to use this number, we're going to use 0 0.200 liters. And if I do this one in my head really quick too, this is going to be 0 0.300 liters. Okay? So, we're going to do the ideal gas law three times. Challenge you better believe it. We're going to get this done. Dog we will. Don't you worry. Now, here we go. 790 goes here. 0.2 goes here. And... 62.4 and 293. N is equal to 790 times 0.2 divided by 62.4 divided by 293. Remember, this is a double divide the way I do it. Okay. And we get our first moles of. 0.008641 moles. Now we are going to do PV equals NRT again here. 600 torr times 0.3 liters equals N. 62.4353 Kelvin. Okay. Ooh, that one's really flashy. 
Okay, so n is equal to 600 times 0.3 divided by 62.4 divided by 353. So we get n is equal to 0 0.0081717 moles. Okay. I am now going to add these two together here. So, 0 0.008641 moles plus 0 0.0081717 moles equals a great number. Point zero one six eight one two seven moles that's my n for this third one here and then you're going to see me do this again here so now it's PV equals NRT so this is P equals 1.75 times point zero one six Eight one two seven times sixty two point four times two ninety eight P equals point zero one six eight one two seven times sixty two point four times two ninety eight divided by one point seven five. P is equal to 179 torr when you finally get this done. Okay? And we're going to call this ideal gas law. And I actually used Dalton's law in there because there was moles I mixed together. So that is going to be the name of that law. So how do we feel about that? We feel great, don't we? Good news, everyone. You guys are champions. The legend is out.